What's up guys? Welcome to another adventure with those bros. And today we're gonna take you inside the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. But first, here's a preview on what you're gonna see. Ready for the time of your life. Yeah, this place is awesome, guys. And stay tuned because we're gonna show you how to save time when you visit the park. And we're gonna give you some tips to make this visit great. And the first thing we're gonna tell you is try to buy your tickets online. That way you can skip the line when you come to the park. Make sure not to forget, right at the entrance, you should get a map. You will need this on your visit. Once you enter the park, you'll find the stores and the photo booth for your safari photo. If that's something that you and your family would like, make sure to make your stop there. You will probably need two days to enjoy this park to the fullest, but you can do it in one day. Just arrive early so you can make the most out of your day. Now, check out your map and your recommendation is always when you enter the park to go to the right. And to us, the first thing you should do is the safari tram. And on your way, you will pass by the hot air balloon, but this is not included with your entrance. You have to pay separately to do this. Make sure to check online what attractions are not including with your entrance. And here's the reason why we think you should do this early in the morning. Most of the creatures here are early birds, which means they're up and about around the park. And it's most likely that they're around when you're in the tram. So bring your early snacks and enjoy the ride. Coolers are not allowed, but you can always bring a small bag or a backpack. There are other options closer to the action that you can take, but this also includes the fee. And here is the pricing for some of those options. Once you're done with the safari tram, you can head your way to the lions. Be careful because you don't want to wake them up. It's amazing to see these ferocious animals. Good thing there's a fence. These guys are very good at staring contests. Oh, yes, they are, bro. Scary. Yes, they are, little sis. The park has a ruined snore camping style where you can stay here for the night and do some great activities, like a nightly tram, zip lighting, and more. Again, this is separate from your park entrance, but it's another great thing to do here. Oh, come on, mailman, stop it. Next, head out to where the elephants are. At this time, they are very active and at least as fast as they can move. There's a lot of walking here in the park, but if you can for some reason, don't worry. They rent the motorized scooters or wheelchairs for you. Also in this area, you can see the rhinos in a closer view. And come check out these amazing creatures. Here's another tip. Always check the weather to know if you need to bring a jacket or a hat and plenty of sunscreen. Next, continue and you will pass by where the cheetah run is. Apparently, they told us that this attraction has been closed since COVID. And on the way down from this area, you can come down and visit Pumbaa, hanging out with his friend. But no worries for the rest of your day. That's right, my boy, Akura Matata. And of course, once you're here, don't forget to check out the cheetah. And look who was here at lunchtime. <laughs> What's up, Donald Duck? And a good thing about this park is that you can bring your own snacks and lunch. A good place to do it is in the shaded areas of playgrounds and near the bathrooms that the park has around and relax a little bit. Check out in the video description the backpack that we recommend to bring here. It's a backpack, but it's also a small cooler. Next, let's head out to where the gorillas are at. And watch out for Mama Gorilla. She's always watching. And if you're lucky, you will arrive at reading time. And what do you guys think? Is this what the teacher means by eat the books? Because these guys are going through like butter. Check it out. And a little side note for you guys. The San Diego Safari Park is not in the actual San Diego main area. You will have to drive at least 30 minutes to Escondido, California. So plan this when you visit. A lot of people make the mistake thinking it's probably next to the San Diego Zoo. Some of them like to read by themselves, but the others like to do group reading. Like this big guy who got tired of reading by himself. And while these guys are reading, here's another tip on the snacks and refreshments. The day before your trip, make sure to pack some waters on the freezer, ice them, and then put it in the backpack. This will keep your drinks or sandwiches fresh the whole day. And if it's a super hot day, then you have some icy water to drink. There are a few restaurants in here, but they are pretty expensive, so a better choice is to bring your own snacks. One thing about Mama Gorilla is that she only sits over there, and that's for a reason. Believe it or not, she's watching and protecting her baby. So it's always a good idea to keep the distance. You don't want to catch the attention of this Mama Gorilla. Next, head down to the Tiger Trail. Around this time, the tiger should be pretty active. Hello. 
and watch out when this guy decides to come your way. You do not want to become dinner of this majestic creature. When he's coming your way, he looks beautiful, but at the same time, terrifying. Wow, so close. Wow, this cat is really big. Guys, why is he looking at me like that? Maybe he just wants to play. Ooh, I don't know my little memory princess. It's a good thing he has a glass right between us. On this side, you can play all you want. <laughs> and over here, you could also check out the American Bald Eagle, another amazing creature up close. This part of the park is Condor Territory. This is an amazing zoo, and if you guys want to check another one, check our channel for the Arizona Driving Zoo. In this amazing place in Arizona, you can ride along with bears, bisons, and coyotes. From there, you're only 35 minutes away from the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And coming down from the Tiger Trail, you will find the World Gardens, with beautiful gardens all around, like this bonsai garden. Why does this keep on reminding me of the Karate Kid guys? And don't forget to look for the cave of the platypus. This guy always stays in the dark. And check this out guys. The only way to see the platypus is here in the San Diego Safari Park. The only other way to see it is in Australia. It's a pretty interesting creature. This guy is a mixture of a duck, beaver, and an otter. And don't get fooled by this guy's cuteness. He's one of the few venomous mammals around the world. So if you ever see one, don't get too close because the guy can give you a lot of pain. Oh daddy, this guy is but so cute. Let's just watch him forever. <laughs> I know little member princess, he is so cute, but we cannot stay here forever. Let's go watch some more animals. Okay, daddy. Look daddy, the baby kangaroo is coming out. Would you look at that, baby kangaroo. You will find these guys near the wall garden section of the park. We recommend to do this section at the end because you can take your time watching the kangaroos. And as you can see, there is no fence or anything. We're actually right next to them. You can sit here and relax and then just uh, take a walk in the gardens. Oh wow, look at that, you went in. What is mommy? These guys are so cute. Alright guys, let's keep going around the park, there's lots of more things to see. And if you guys are enjoying this video, consider subscribing and liking the video to help this channel out. It's free and it will tremendously help our channel grow. And don't forget to check out our other videos on things to do in San Diego. And by the way guys, before we forget, uh, here at the San Diego Safari Park, the parking is not free. It's around $15 per car. And again, try to come early because parking gets full quick. And on your way back uh, to the main entrance of the park, you will find the carousel where you can take a break and let the kiddos go. And next, head out to the petting zoo. We were here on the day of the World Cup final and I think we just found Messi. That's right, baby, the GOAT and World Cup champion. Here, the kiddos can have some fun time with the animals and kill some energy before the day ends. And you, mom and dad, can just sit and relax and get some energy for the drive back. And always check out what events are going to be happening at the Safari Park. Check the website before your visit. And today, since it's December, tonight they have the Christmas lights, but it changes depending on the season. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out these other two videos and things to do in San Diego.